Hey, eighth grade. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, you guys. It's Sunday out here, so I just wanted to take the time to record a video. It may be the last video I get to record for you guys because this will be for next week, and you guys are almost done. You guys are almost out of here. Uh, you're living the dream now, right? The last full week of school, and then uh, the week after that, it's promotion, right? And I know they're they're still getting information to you about how promotion's gonna go and stuff like that. But uh, congratulations for you guys that are are have made it through this school year. I know it's been a tough, challenging one. It's been strange. It's been weird. Uh, but hopefully, you guys have made it through mentally in one piece and physically in one piece. Um, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about one first congratulations, right? And two, a little bit about trying to prep you for what's going to go on next year for you guys. You guys are going to be moving into freshman in high school, right? Hopefully, you guys have all determined where you're going to go, either your neighborhood school or you guys choiced out to another school. Uh, hopefully, all that's already ready, right? If you guys are going to your neighborhood school, all you have to do is go on to the website and you guys will fill out a registration packet. That's basically putting in... Uh, information about like your address who lives with you uh emergency contact information that kind of stuff right it's not about uh like an application to get into the school because they're going to take you uh anyways right uh for most of you that'll be at crawford for a few of you that may be at hoover or uh somewhere else but um yeah just fill in that that registration packet information on their website and that'll make sure that when you go to school, uh, you're good and you're ready and your counselors have classes for you that you need. Uh, don't be afraid. My advice for you is don't be afraid to get in there and get to know your counselor, you know. Uh, for a lot of you, I got the opportunity to get a lot of, get to spend a lot of time with you and get to know you very well. Uh, I know there were some of you that I didn't and I, I regret that. I'm sorry for that. Uh, but from here on out, it's going to be your job to get in to know your counselor because they really don't have the time to um, pull you out and make sure that you're on track. Uh, their priorities in reality is seniors, right, and getting seniors to graduate. So they spend most of their time with seniors and, and uh, prepping juniors for college entrance requirements and stuff like that. So uh, freshmen kind of get lost in the mix, right? Because they figure you have the most time to, they can catch up with you later on. So, um, I want you guys to realize that one of the things you guys can do is just get in there, get to know their faces, get to know who they are, schedule a, a meeting with them. You can always schedule a meeting with your counselor, right? It doesn't even have to be about anything major. You can go in there and schedule a meeting, just a little five minute. Hello, how are you? This is my name. This is what I'm interested in, uh, and they may talk to you a little bit about plans for after high school or whatever that is, okay? But at least it'll give them the opportunity to put your name to your face, and that way when you see them around campus or when they see you around campus, hopefully you guys could uh, be polite and friendly and maybe get to know each other, and I really think that'll be beneficial to you guys getting what you really need out of school next year uh, and in the four years to come. Okay, uh, ninth grade is a big challenge, okay? It's a lot different from what we were giving you in middle school, okay? Uh, the curriculum's different, and the way that you're going to receive it is a little different, okay? Uh, also, the ninth grade is very, very important for you guys. It kind of sets up what's going to happen for you in high school uh, in the remaining four years, right? If you do very well in your freshman year in ninth grade, uh, things will roll and be pretty easy for you in 10th, 11th, and then in 12th. It'll be really great, okay? But if you're struggling to pass classes in the ninth grade, things are going to get really hard for you in the 12th grade, okay? Uh, I remember when we broke down the number of classes that you needed, there's not a lot of time in there to be able to make up classes that you failed in the ninth grade right so if you fail classes in the ninth grade you're gonna have to catch up on those in summer school or in night school or some other way later on in your senior year and that's gonna be really difficult okay you would 
basically wake up at school and go to sleep at school. Uh, it's not going to be fun. So make sure that whatever you do, you're setting yourself up for success in your senior year by being successful in your freshman year. Okay. Make sure you're passing those classes. Make sure you're getting the help that you need to to understand what's being taught. Okay. If you can't get it right away because your teacher isn't connecting for you, right? Find somebody else that can. Every school offers um, after school tutoring. Okay. Uh, you can even find tutors in the community that can do it for free at, at community agencies. Okay. Uh, so make sure you're getting the help that you need to be able to get out of there on time and as stress-free as possible, okay? Uh, I'm not saying to completely forget about your personal lives, okay? I know you guys are going to be social. I know you guys are going to want to have your friends, but you still got to remain focused on what's important, right? Your main job for the next four years is to be academics, okay? To learn how to be successful in school. So that way, when you're done with high school, you can decide, is college an, oppor is college an opportunity that I want to pursue? Or is something like a trade school an opportunity that I want to pursue? Or do I want to go out and open my own business? Or do I want to work for somebody else for the rest of my life? It's really going to be up to you and how you make things happen in your high school years. Okay? So take your ninth grade year... Uh, as seriously as you possibly can, making sure that you set the foundation to build a good, good uh, academic career in high school, okay? Uh, college isn't for everybody, okay? It's not the only option out there. There are plenty of other good options out there, okay? Uh, college just happens to be something that once you have your education, your education is something nobody else can take from you, okay? Um, it's one of those assets that, say you had a brand new car, somebody else could steal that, somebody else could take it from you, uh, but education is something that once you get, nobody can take it from you, okay? So make sure you're taking that seriously, make sure you're uh, prioritizing school, making sure that you get the help that you need, okay? I will tell you that once you leave Darnell, you are Darnell family. Okay, that means you can come back to me if you need my help in anything. Okay, uh, I do a lot of tutoring and helping students figure out things. Okay, uh, sometimes high school counselors are hard to be able to get into have an appointment with, but I can sit down with you and tell you what classes you need to take and what what stuff will put you on the right path for where you want to go. Okay, uh, you will have earned that right. Uh, as a promoting eighth grader to be able to come back and and seek my assistance for whatever you need okay um i could help revise a, a an english paper or help you learn how to research history you know there's a lot of different stuff i could help you with and i hope that you guys take advantage of that fact and you know uh don't become strangers and if you need the help come and get the help okay i'm offering my services to you uh, and please take advantage of those. Okay. Uh, let me see. What else did I want to say? I just wanted to say that, uh, you know, now that you're promoting from Darnell, you guys are going to be family members for life. And so make sure that, you know, you come back and visit, right? And I'll talk to our people, making sure that you guys are still welcomed. Okay. After school hours though, you know, don't walk on the campus during school. Uh, teachers are still teaching and admin is still doing admin, okay? Uh, and then come back during all the family events, right? Uh, making sure that you guys come in and check in and we know that you guys are being very well taken care of and, and being very successful in what you're doing, okay? Um, that being said, I wanted just to rem uh, take the time for you guys to just to do a little reflection of your own, okay? Kind of think about something that was very good in this school year okay think about something that happened maybe to you maybe to something in the school that was very very good for you this year okay uh what that was and how it came about what happened okay then think about something that maybe was a little more challenging okay maybe it wasn't something that was the coolest thing 
uh, to happen, right? For a lot of us, that might be just this whole COVID thing, right? Uh, think about something that was a challenge for you, okay? Uh, and finally, I want you guys to get to me either through e email or send it to your teachers or something. One way that we could work on Darnell to make Darnell a better place, okay? Something that you think that might make it a better school for your little brothers and sisters or for your little cousins that still come here. Uh, for the next generation of 8th graders that are going to be graduating next year, okay? Uh, don't be mean, okay? Uh, but let us know if there's anything that we can change in how we treat you or uh, how the school is, something physically about the school that we could change, okay? Think about it. Get that to me. Let me know, okay? So uh until we see each other again i just want to say congratulations thank you guys for giving me the opportunity to uh come in and talk to you guys work with you guys um it was a pleasure uh the eighth grade class is the best class ever i really appreciated it uh, and i wish you guys all the best of luck uh don't be strangers okay later now.